Hey everybody, John from Greybeard here. Sorry for the late delay. Uh, I've been quite busy recently with, uh, well, COVID-19, uh, preparing face shields and ear savers, uh, moving house. I moved house on um, May, uh, what day was it? May 15th. So uh, that's been quite busy for us, getting everything moved and settled in. I'm still not settled in here. I have a lot of plans for this room, including better lighting, uh, better audio, everything else, uh, so I can bring you more streams uh, more frequently. Um, so hopefully uh, when I get all this done, we'll have more frequent streams with more content and let me know what kind of content you might wanna watch. Uh, today we're doing a live stream uh, showing uh, all the boxes I've received over the past few months that I have not had any time to open or any time to show on stream. So hopefully uh, you like this, this stream, but uh, this is more or less just to uh, talk to uh, everybody out there and see uh, how everybody else is doing too. So let's go ahead and get this started. And that did not transition. All right, so I guess, uh, maybe that works. Okay, I got uh, OBS Studio to work, uh, a little rusty there. Uh, so let's start with some of these boxes. I have quite a few to go through. I have been, uh, I have been purchasing a lot of filament recently. Uh, let me switch the, the screen here. I've been purchasing, purchasing a lot of filament for uh, uh, mask printing and whatnot um, for COVID purposes. But uh, everything else here are my subscription boxes, which I normally show. Um, so this is a protopasta. Let's see if I can get that on screen. Um, this is part of their, I think it's like every other month subscription. I apologize if the noise is too loud. Let's see how this looks. All right. So in this protopasta uh, subscription, let me see. This was even forwarded because it was sent to my old address. So this is from June. A uh, little candy we have there. Ooh, that's a new protopasta sticker. Haven't seen that one before. And the uh, usual protopasta sticker. We have uh, Watermelon Crush. It's an interesting pink with metallic uh, kind of color to it, and it's a little bit translucent. So that's very cool. Um, not sure if that's showing up. Uh, as I said, in this room, I'm getting better lighting. I had an electrician put in um, uh, some outlets up high, so I'm going to be able to mount lighting up high. So that's going to be very good. Uh, this is Summertime Green HDPLA. Uh, this is like a green metallic, uh, which is also translucent. That's very cool. Let me make sure everything is looking good. Yep. And the last one is Spitting Seeds Gray. So uh, with the theme, it seems to be a gray metallic, or I guess kind of glittery, uh, which is also a little bit translucent. So all of these seem to have that sort, same sort of theme. It's just three different shades of color. Uh, I really like, I really like the uh, pink and the green there. They have a really cool, um, fun feeling to them. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody quite with these shades before. So that'll be cool. All right, let's uh, let's look at another one. Uh, so I posted to Twitter. Um, I posted to Twitter. What what day was it? Probably uh, three days ago. A, a picture of all this filament I had sitting in a pile um, that has yet to be printed. Um, so over the last, uh, what, over the last week or so, I managed to get all of that printed and I have nothing left to print other than some TPUs. So opening these boxes is kind of going to serve me with that too, because I'm going to be able to, um, have more things to print because I am fully caught up on printing. The next stage is I am going to be, uh, posting. So this is the Alien 3D box. I'm going to take everything out and put it in front of the camera and then we'll, we can look through it all. So Alien 3D box has, uh, they used to have a different monthly box design. 
And now the box is a more uh, regular type of box. Let me swap back over here. So it has a Alien 3D logo on the side. Uh, they used to have a, a special monthly box design itself. Um, I never really cared about the box design because I'm the, uh, I'm the type who ends up throwing the boxes away. Uh, but they were cool that they were custom artwork every month. And they were really good too. Okay. So we have a sticker out of this box. And it looks like another sticker there. Um, and we have a note. Happy Father's Day to all the dad makers out there. Um, so this is from uh, Mad Monkey and Edge of Text. Edge of Tech, sorry about that. And uh, it has a nice little note there. Um, and we have some great filaments here. Uh, E-Sun uh, PLA. It's a silk uh, purple PLA. I don't think I have any silks from E-Sun. <laughs> hey, you do it. Uh, Cosmic Sparkle PLA. Cosmic Sp Sparkle from Ziltec. And Sandoz. Uh, blue PLA and that's a nice little blue. Let me try to get that on screen. So Sandoz blue PLA And the last one here Coffee brown PLA and uh, I know there's some filaments out there with coffee actually in them I don't think this is the case. I think it's just a nice deep brown uh, Which might resemble a coffee bean um, And then it looks like we have a bunch of different uh, sensors so that looks like a relay so the alien 3d box is really cool because every month they, they send you like an electronics project that looks like a either an IR sensor or a light sensor of some sort oh man <laughs> how you doing Sean long time haven't talked in a while that looks like a uh, nano Arduino nano USB cable for programming this is a cool accessory, although, let me see. Okay, so it's a metal uh, screwdriver with some different bits on it. It's, are they all hex? Yeah, they're all hex head bits on it. So every month uh, they also include an accessory for you too. Uh, these look like little root beers, root beer candies. And one last electronics component. This looks like an array of LEDs. So that's a lot of electronic components for this kit. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. I'm curious what the project was. I know I'm quite late on uh, building this, but um, th that's quite a bit of electronics that uh, absolutely can be uh, put to use. So I'm very excited about that. Let me get all of this picked up. I need to do something with this candy. And uh, the tools go into my toolbox. So I'll get that in there. All right, what's next? This one is from Filament One. Shalom, it's been a long time. How have you been doing, man? I do not have my usual knife for opening these packages. Let me see. I don't want to get the address on screen. I have quite a few packages here to go through. Uh, this this whole stream is more or less going to be uh, just hanging out and opening boxes like uh, Christmas Day. Um, I'm so excited. I have been printing my butt off uh, trying to get uh, all these Marvins done for for you guys really. So uh, so the filament one box comes with a nice card that talks about the uh, samples and the settings that you need for it. The filament one box usually includes um, their own filaments. So we have some Pedro gummies. They feel uh, very soft. They might be from May, who knows. Um, a nice filaments bag. It's pretty heavy duty. Let me try to back up on that. So this, this is a pretty heavy duty filament bag, I guess for putting a full roll of filament into. Uh, for storage purposes And then in here we have our actual filaments. Let's see what we have 
All right. Filament one pro select bright red orange. Uh, it's a very bright orange. I know it says red orange. To me, it's just orange. Um, it's m pretty similar to like a Prusa type orange. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Microtech. Uh, hey, 3D Print Viking, how are you? Uh, so then we have the Pro Select Blue Silk PLA. Very awesome. It's got a shine to it. I could probably take that one out so we can see that shine. I know the camera doesn't quite get it. Wow. So this is a very nice red TPU. I've, I've not seen a TPU quite this red. Um, I hope this comes through nice on camera. This is, this is a nice deep color for a TPU. Um, so it, it's gorgeous. I don't print a whole lot of TPU. Um, even for the, the Marvins, it's quite a, uh, quite a challenge, uh, more or less. And this is uh, PETG Azure Blue. Let's try to get that on camera too. Looks really good. Yeah, I, I think that red TPU is, is pretty stunning for a TPU. I'm gonna have quite a pile of filament to, to do now. Uh, so I caught up on everything. Uh, and that's part of the reason I, I had to do the stream today because uh, another filament one box, but uh, more or less because I ran out of stuff to print. I am on a goal to hit 1,000 filaments on my website, uh, which is going to have like every color filament that you can imagine. Uh, every color from every maker, uh, if I can do it. <laughs> but 1,000 is my goal now. And uh, I think I can do it. Oh, wow. So it looks like a heater cartridge. Some Stroopwafels. And we'll, we'll go through these. I'm just trying to empty the box here. Okay. So again, we get the card for the Filament One box. It shows all the different filaments and some discounts and whatnot uh, and all the settings. The candy is the Stroopwafels. I like the Stroopwafels a lot. Those are cool. They supplied a heater cartridge. Uh, let's see. It is a 24 volt, 40 watt cartridge. Now I wonder what size is uh, default in the Prusa. I wonder if it's, if it's 30 watt. I might upgrade one of mine to the 40 watt. So that's, that's pretty cool that they included that accessory. I, I don't think accessories are really part of their plan, but I think they're just doing it. Um, Sky Blue PETG. Looks pretty cool. I'm seeing some more adventurous colors in PETG and ABS and, and ASA. For a while, some materials, all you could get was black, white, and clear or natural. Um, this one is Filament One White Aluminum PLA. So it's kind of silvery. Uh, maybe on the lighter side of the silver, but they call it white aluminum. I don't believe it includes any uh, any actual metal. PETG Pro Red Stone. So another PETG. So I've been printing some pretty adventurous materials. Has anybody out there uh, printed anything uh, more advanced uh, than normal these days? And by normal, I, I guess I mean PLA and PETG. And this is clear um, polypropylene. So this is like one of the more advanced materials that you might find. So polypropylene. Um, some of these materials need uh, pretty high temps, 260 degrees, 270 degrees, and so on. So it can, it can really get up there. I gotta get that somewhere and I gotta get these somewhere cool all right let's see what else I have over here uh, I've been buying some filament 
So I've already opened these and printed these. Unfortunately, I don't have the sample easily accessible. Uh, but this is the Prusa uh, polycarbonate blend. And uh, I ended up writing on the bag that I used. Let me, let me try to get this on the camera, maybe. Um, 270 degrees, 105 bed, and 65%, or not percent, 65 on the fan. That's 65 out of 255, so it's not 65%. But uh, these are the new Prusa, uh, the new Prusa filaments that just came out. So they look nice. Uh, you know, like some of these more advanced filaments so far, it only comes in like black, white, gray uh, type of colors. <laughs> sorry, for the, uh, sorry for all the loud noise. So I did print those and they print it very well. Uh, and those were my settings for it. <clears throat> All right. That's weird. I have a UFO box. Uh, I must have got this somehow else because I have a US UFO box with no mailing label on it. <laughs> so um, maybe this might be... Uh, something else so i had my subscription to the ufo box slip due to a uh i don't know a billing slash technical error and i sent some uh extra money over to ufo so i could catch up on some of the filaments i might have missed so i have a green gate blue and this this is probably filament that might have been included in like january or february yeah, Prusament. I have a lot of different Prusaments. How are you doing, Kit? Uh, Snow Labs, uh, Transparent Red PLA. IC3D, Yellow PETG. It's a very good yellow, uh, by the way. I do like that color. Um, looks like I got caught up on some stickers. Whoa. Let's see. So... Look at that one. Mesquite Tech, Snow Labs, and 3D Pink Mafia. Cool stuff. USB cable. Plus 3D Metallic Copper PLA. Another Arduino Nano. You get a lot of Arduino Nanos when you subscribe to the Alien 3D UFO box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's awesome. What what printer are you building, Kit? Um, the UFO letter? Let me see. Well, this says May 2020. This might, maybe this is a May box. I just don't know why it doesn't have a mailing address. It's very weird. And I'll try to get this out. A carbon fiber um, calipers, digital calipers. Now, I have... I have a set of digital calipers that I have been saving for you guys uh, because I've not really unboxed it yet. I opened it to verify that it was real, but I didn't really take anything out. I have some Matoy, Mat, how do you say it? Matoy, Matutoyo, somebody pronounce that for me. <laughs> uh, so I have these calipers. They are model uh, 5193, whoops, 500, 197-30. Uh, I have these calipers that I am really looking forward to opening. Um, they're supposed to be very precise um, and I wanna get them opened and I'll probably just do a stream right after this, specifically for those calipers because uh, I think I need to put a, a special title on that one for that. So, exciting stuff. Ooh, the Voron. I'd love to see some results of that one, Kit. Um, when I was doing the, oh, what was it called? Um, when I was looking at the rail core, uh, the Voron was also on the top of the list. In fact, I had, uh, I was almost ready to build like the earlier Voron. All right. So another Alien 3D box. <sighs> Again, without a mailing label. I don't know how this happened. Maybe they came in a bag. 
Um, so I don't know how this happened, but I have these Alien 3D boxes. Okay, so this is March 2020. Um, that, uh, again, like I said, my subscription la lapsed, so it maybe got caught up somehow. Um, the uh, usual uh, letter to all the, all the subscribers. I have some gold money. So this is like a March-like theme. Uh, you might have noticed uh, that the box actually has a St. Patrick's Day type of theme on it, which is very cool. Some monoprice green filament. Awesome stuff. Polymaker Polylight PLA. This is a teal blue. And I just printed Polymaker um, Polysmooth Teal. So the 1 8, the 2 4. Oh wow, that's too many. <laughs> uh, a little array of LEDs. It looks like some fairy lights. The switch doesn't turn them on. Oh, I have to pull the little plastic tab in there. Uh, Keen Village Plastics. Um, this is their bright gold PLA. Now, what's interesting about Keen Village Plastics is if you try to go buy their filament, I think they send you over to Make Shaper, and I apologize if that's wrong, but I I wanted to go buy it, and uh, you know, you get Keen Village Plastics in your box, and you go buy it, and they send you over to Make Shaper. So, is it Make Shaper? Gold or is it Keen? Tough to know. I know Keen is the actual manufacturer of it, but if they're branding it Make Shaper, then that, that should be something different. Uh, some clippers as the accessory for the month. And some Green Gate, green PETG. I really, really like the Green Gate filaments. Um, they've been working out very well. I am, it's like one of those things. Oh, there's a sticker hiding in here. Ah, uh, <laughs> that is pretty cool. Um, little sticker in here that says my nozzle is hardened and it has like the it little alien 3d logo on the side of the nozzle. That's pretty funny. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, so I, I just don't know the deal with the, uh, uh, Keen Village Plastics, but the Green Gate stuff, uh, so far has been printing wonderfully and I like that it's all recycled. So that's cool. And that they have all the colors that they're coming out with, um, the purple they, they had at, uh, was it Earth last year, was really good. And I really like that purple a lot, but I, I'm happy to see that they have other colors coming out. Okay, let's see what's next. All right. This is Prusament, da, da, da. more Prusament. Uh, this is the white package. I think oh, somebody somebody posted to Twitter that said, hey, what happened to the black wrapping? Um, but uh, see, black wrapping on the inside. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was, I was surprised when it was a white, white wrapper as well uh, because it almost was like a signature to have that black wrapping that they uh, usually have on their, their products. So let's see what Prusament I got here. I suspect I know what it is because I paid for it. Um, <laughs> so I ended up getting the, oops, Jet Black ASA, which is the color I really wanted, and then the green, what do they call it? Opal green PLA. So with Prusament, you get the absolute best roll price if you always order two at a time. Um, it's not a trick they're doing. It's just how they can get the shipping economical. So if you order two rolls at a time, you'll get the absolute best roll price you can get in the States. So that's the trick. Um, if you order one roll, you're paying a little bit more. If you order three rolls, you're absolutely paying more. So. Next time you're about to uh, order from Prusa, go ahead and order two. And I settled on the green because uh, there's always room for more green in life. All right. This is a box from, there we go, 3DX Tech. Uh, so 
I made a mailbox flag. I posted it to Twitter. I might have posted it to Reddit too. Uh, in that mailbox flag, I want it to print an ASA. So I printed it in um, orange ASA because that was the brightest ASA I had. It's Prusa orange. And it looks wonderful, but most mailbox flags in the US are red. So I was thinking, well, look, if I start making more mailbox flags, I need to get some red ASA. And the only company I could find, I believe, that had it in stock and wasn't insane on price, I need better clippers than this, this really stinks, um, was 3DX Tech. 3DX Tech usually has uh, really high-end engineering materials. So if you need something that's absolutely on the high end of the spectrum, uh, meaning high temperature, engineering grade materials, uh, then look at 3DX Tech because they have like the, the Ultim, uh, Peak, Peck, quite a few different things. So this is, this is the box as I received it. I don't know what's on there, aside to some details. So I have a few different la labels there. Um, I think this is a new filament they're talking about, Triton 3D. Uh, let me see what it's about here. So Triton 3D, it says Stratasys compatible 3D filament, sales rep. So it's a little confusing. Refill your Stratasys printer, save thousands annually, triton3d.com. Um, I feel the message is mixed here. Is this 3DX tech or is this Triton? My order invoice, me. so the order invoice is labeled. 3DX tech. So very weird. But, uh, and let me make sure I ordered everything correct. Yes, I have now yellow ASA. A lot of bubble wrap. And I have red ASA. And I kind of told you all exactly what I was getting there, but that's what I have. Let's look at the yellow ASA. Uh, ASA is a great material for outdoors because it has the heat resistance of um, of ABS. It has that performance of ABS, but it's also uh, more stable uh, in the UV. So it's going to last even longer than ABS outdoors. And here's the red. And I want to oh, want to open these and see what they're like. I can already tell that the red isn't quite as punchy as the orange is. The, the orange from Prusa, of course, if you've seen the Prusa, is a very bright orange. Listen to that, that hiss there. Uh, this might be the first roll, actual roll of uh, 3DX tech I've actually bought. Everything else I have of theirs, I got through subscription boxes. So it's, uh, it's a little bit brighter than what I see on the screen, but it's not quite the punch that the Prusament uh, orange has, but that is an exceptionally bright color. Uh, so I don't really fault them for that. And I think that this is actually, this red is actually closer to a typical mailbox flag. Did you hear that hiss? And here's the, here's the yellow. And the yellow is also, it's not a super bright yellow, uh, but uh, it is a nice, it, it's a nice solid yellow. Let me see. Has a nice uh, 3DX tech label on it. Weight is one kilogram. They recommend uh, bed uh, extrusion temp 235 to 255 and bed temp of 90 to 110. Um, and of course it's made in the USA. And it has some serial numbers on the rolls, which I assume is so they can look up what batch and whatnot in case you have a problem with it and they can improve their process. I'm going to set these by the printers just in case. Okay. Whew. I told you all I have a lot. More protopasta. It's like Christmas in here.
this is candy. It's the I've never seen candy quite like that. It's weird. Okay. Fantasy Island Blue HTPLA. Uh, so it's metallic -y, might be slightly translucent, um, and it's like a kind of like an ocean blue. And this next one is, is more or less the same. It's called Shea B Designs Glitter Main. Um, it's more or less the same, except it's a bit more green in that blue color. Let me see if I get it. See, the green won't come through on camera. Um, but it's definitely a lighter shade of blue there. Oh, cool. Look at that sticker. That is a cool sticker. I like that. Although, didn't they stop doing the gnomes? Aren't they printing something new now? You have nowhere near as much choice for filament in the UK. I really like 3D Jake over there. Over there. Um, I've ordered from them. Uh, paid for and waited for the shipping from the UK. I, I think it was the UK. Maybe it was Germany. Uh, but I really like what 3D Jake had. Um, some really good choices. Um, in the UK itself, I'm, I'm not sure. But I know Europe has a lot of excellent filament. All right. Whew. I hope there's a bottom to this pile. We have a couple maker boxes coming. So, let's see what we have here. This is from, this is called number 41, which means something about what month it came in. Um, and this must be from like maybe June because it has my new address on it. So, I moved in May and it probably took a cycle to get my new address in there so uh, this is the maker box we get an ignore me card uh, which I think has discount codes on it yeah so it has discount codes on it and that's why it says ignore me um, I don't know if that's telling the streamers to ignore it or whatever uh, green gate uh, sticker very cool toner plastic sticker I think I see what's coming here <laughs> Seven dollars for two rolls. That's very good. I like Prusament. They need more colors. Um, so this is a Kickstarter ad for some... I, I can't tell if it's like a board game or some sort of collection or something. But it's called Cadra? Cordra? So I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, Laffy Taffy Candy. I know the maker box people have been making new types of boxes. Uh, they have like a paranormal box uh, if you're into the paranormal stuff, and they have a box or a monthly subscription to dice. Um, none of those quite suit me. This is also the everything box, so I get a lot of stuff in here. Uh, they have like three different box levels. They have the uh, easy box, which is what is represented in this pack. The easy box is all easy to print materials um, like PLA. So this is a nice yellow. Let's see who makes it. Okay, so this is from Jesse PLA. This is Printed Solid's own brand. Uh, they've had quite a few boxes with their own brand in it. Uh, nice pink. That's a that's actually a very good pink. A very nice blue. The blue is similar to uh, blue I recently received from uh, Overture. And a nice white color so far i've not had any duplicate co colors come out of the new maker box um, when they bought out the previous maker box people i think i got a few duplicates because uh, they said the previous uh, owners didn't track it as well or something like that but so far i've not received any duplicates from them um, so this is this is what you would normally get in like the easy box it's four easy colors. They're actually nice size samples. Um, and the Jesse PLA has printed very well for me. I've not had any problems. Uh, next, now this is very nice. This is pro So this is part of their um, 
it, I forget what they call it. It's like their advanced box. So this is going to be more advanced and harder to print materials. And this right here is protopasta, um, st steel filled metal composite. Um, so this stuff I believe is very expensive. And when they give you filament, uh, they don't do it by weight. They do it kind of by length. So although this is heavy stuff because it's steel, um, uh, it has steel in it. So it's a lot heavier than regular PLA, but you still get the same amount of length. So you still can uh, print some decent samples out of it. Um, so this is Green Gate PETG Mars Red. Let's see if I can get that up there. Um, and on the MakerBox filaments, they give you all the settings and all the details about the filament right on the package. So you never have to keep an extra card or anything else. You have all your details you need there. Toner Plastics TPU Blue. Yeah, Jesse PLA is good. CC Tree uh, ST PLA Gold. Now what is ST PLA? A special PLA blend for improved toughness and improved shelf life. Um, who was it? Was it Teaching Tech who recently did a video on PLA Plus? Uh, if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that. Uh, there, there are some pluses and some minuses for the tough PLA. Uh, which brings me to something else. Uh, so I get all these filaments every single month. Let me swap that again. Oh, I am so sorry for that. Uh, <laughs> I need to switch something else in there. So I get all these filaments every single month and they've been piling up and piling up and I've been keeping them in um, containers that have uh, seals and gaskets on them and whatnot. But I've reached a point where my filaments are just overflowing and I, I had to decide what to do. So I'm releasing uh, a bunch of grab bags uh, per se that has four filaments in it. Three of them are gonna be PLA or PLA uh, printable. Uh, and then uh, one will be non-PLA or something like that. You might end up with four PLAs. But uh, if you're interested in any of the grab bags, I'm uh, looking at selling those for $12 and it's going to help just, and that's shipped to the US and that's just gonna help offset some of this cost. But um, the $12 is a lot less than I end up paying for these filaments. Uh, these are the filaments that I have used. Uh, so I have used about uh, what, 10 feet out of I don't know what they normally have, uh, 100 feet, 150 feet, something like that. So uh, that's what it normally is, but it is a grab bag. I, I make no promises, but uh, everything I was putting together looked really good. So if you're interested in those, uh, keep an eye on my Twitter and I'll have something out soon once I figure out how the heck I'm gonna sell this. Um, but uh, let's open another box. Let's see here. So here's a maker box. And this is something I'm not doing all the time. It's, it's, uh, it's just to get rid of these filaments and when they're gone, they're gone. So, let's see. Pips Mountain. So Pips Mountain is MakerBox's uh, dice subscription. Filament Colors XYZ. Filament Colors takes pictures of different filaments and puts them online. That's very cool. MakerBox Me sticker. All right, low odor ABS, very nice. Uh, swimming and sample rolls, yeah. So if you subscribe to these boxes, you're probably like me and, and swimming in rolls. Um, but if you're not, <laughs> so yeah, these rolls typically have like these, oh, let me transition back and I hope it doesn't do the cutscene again. All right, um, so yeah, if you're like me, you're probably uh, uh, drowning in rolls if you subscribe to a lot of these. Uh, uh, let me go to that one. Okay, so if you subscribe to a lot of these uh, boxes, then you're drowning in them. But if you don't subscribe to any, uh, it could be a good way to get some samples and see what it might be like. These normally have 16 meters, and I use about 3 meters uh, to do my samples. Uh, Tallman 3D, Alloy 910, so that's a nylon. Esun Twinkling Blue PLA. So it's a glitter blue. And Philocube Easy PLA. 
Now this seems similar to what I might have received before. Let me see. So I just said that they haven't sent me duplicates, but they might have. So this is an orange. Let me see what they call it. Yeah, they call it orange. We have black. We have sapphire blue. And we have maroon. And I happen to have my easy PLA labels from before uh, because I was just uh, printing everything at once and getting through it all. So let's see if I can find it. So it's, it's fill a cube. Let's see. Okay, so it had a burnt orange. Maybe I was just thinking of the burnt orange. He's on. Boom. Push plastics. Polyalchemy. There's a fill a cube. Okay, so purple, red, mint, blue. Okay, none of those are that. Another push plastics. I've had a lot of these. Okay. Another fill a cube. Sapphire blue and yellow. Was it sapphire blue in here? Yeah. So, okay, so it is my second sapphire blue. Um, and it's not a real long time. It might be less than a year. And uh, fill in the can. So, that's, that is a duplicate I've had. This particular blue. At least I know I don't need to print it. All right. So I guess, uh, guess maker box I'm watching. <laughs> All right. And uh, the other thing I got in here were some Starburst candies and an eSun book of their materials. So. I don't know if they promise they don't give you duplicates. I don't think anybody promises that, but I think they should try not to. All right, because just like Kit, <laughs> we all have these samples around if you subscribe for a while. Okay, so this is the Alien 3D UFO box. It's the two year anniversary. Um, I hope there were no uh, live animals in here. Only kidding, but uh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Green Gate Slice Engineering Orange, I guess. So it's Green Gate Slice Engineering Orange filament. All caps for 3D Jimmy. It is a bottle cap that has a very cool, I don't know if that's a sticker or or what. It's a completely unused bottle cap that looks like it was professionally printed uh, for 3D Jimmy. So that was cool. H&H <clears throat> &H Plastics Ice Blue PETG. HQA PLA Orange. So two nice oranges in this box. Greengate, pink grapefruit. That's a very cool color of um, PETG that I've not seen before. Um, I don't think I've seen this color in any filament before because it's uh, unusually light. So, and I know it's not coming through on camera. It's looking a little bit orange on camera, but it's actually a, a nice pink, but it's a very, very light pink. So that's very cool. Thank you, Kit. Yes, so the all caps for Jimmy uh, is because Jimmy recently passed away and he used to type in all caps. So uh, this looks like Capricorn tubing. I don't know if it's genuine Capricorn tubing or not. Maybe he says something in there. And then an electronics kit with a mess of LED lights. And it looks like another 
a nano maybe, and a ribbon cable. But that is a lot of LED lights. And a breadboard to put everything together with. Um, Capricorn sticker, so it must be Capricorn tubing. Cool, that's my first Capricorn tubing. I'm gonna see if I can maybe put it on the mini. Uh, two year anniversary sticker, very cool. And last is this uh, two year uh, note for everybody. And uh, he's promising to find more, uh, more filaments from more makers and to get them out to everybody else. Um, and uh, yes, it's one meter of actual Capricorn PTFE, either XS or TL. Uh, and he knows there's two oranges. Um, so it looks like that one of the oranges was kind of like on the way when he ordered the first orange. So um, very cool. And it also has a nice Happy Mother's Day note on it. So this is a box that's actually labeled out. So it's very cool. Yeah, I'll do that, Microtech. Um, I've been putting off buying Capricorn. <laughs> but uh, now that I have some, uh, it looks like more than enough. Uh, to probably do two minis. So, yeah, I'll let you know. I might be able to do a reverse Bowden thing for one of my Mark Threes as well. All right. Let's get all this. I'll keep, it, keep the Capricorn over there. Is this dark blue Capricorn? Does anybody know? Is this dark blue Capricorn uh, the XS or the TL? I don't know. Cool. Cool accessory. Oh, congratulations. I really like the Mini. Um, I know some people have had to kind of mess with the PTFE tube that's inside of the uh, hot end. Uh, but it does come with a spare. Uh, I just hope that you don't have to mess with it. All right. This looks like a filament in one box. One second. All right, let's look at this filament one box. These are the worst way to cut a box. I normally have a knife on me. It is excess. Okay, so 1.9 millimeter clearance. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much, Kit. Um, oh, and Microtech. Thank you. Profi Mini Box. Filament 1 PP Pro Select. So PP, I'm going to assume, is polypropylene. Polypropylene prints pretty hot. Pink PLA. So the Profi Mini Box is always filament 1 filament or at least so far. Iron Gray PETG. And Energy Green PLA. So it looks like three PLAs, no, two PLAs, a PETG and a polypropylene. Another Stroop Waffle. See, the Stroop Waffles are why I buy these boxes. Filament one sticker, very cool. And I'm sorry for the noise. Thank you for your support. Profi box letter. And wow, another great accessory. Um, so this is some premium. I believe it's slice engineering. Uh, although it doesn't say slice engineering on it, but it's the ZYP boron nitride uh, thermal paste. So maybe it's not slice engineering. Maybe filament one has their own. Um, but very cool. Uh, when you're assembling hot ends, those can help. I need to do a test one day and I, I'm sure there's an answer already out there, but does it f perform better on the uh, cold side or the hot side or both sides? I would think, I would think on the nozzle threads, maybe. Uh, so the nozzle uh, receives the heat better from the heat block, but not on the heat break threads. 
so you uh, deter the heat from transferring up to the cold side. But then on the cold side, so any heat that is transferred up is sapped away by the uh, heat sink. That would be my theory. <laughs> so. Uh, no, it's unfortunately it's not the signal white. This is hatch box white. So I, I do printing, uh, I do sell some things on Etsy and there are certain colors I just stick with and don't shift around. So when it runs out, I just buy more. So, oh, and it secures heater cartridges. Yes, it would also help heat transfer from the heater cartridge to the heat block. Um, so, I don't know. I might experiment with it and see if anything improves or gets worse. The E3D V6, which is the, my favorite hot end so far, uh, works very well as is. All right, no notifications. I'm almost done, I promise. I have two boxes. It's another maker box. And the next one is a special box. So hopefully we'll get to that. All right, this is box number 39. So this is pretty old. It is really bright. Um, it, it's, I feel it's a very balanced, I, I'd pull it out, but it's uh, in the printer right now. But I feel it's a very balanced uh, color. Um, maybe slightly on the warm side, but it, it's very close to being neutral there. Uh, fill a matrix sticker. An ignore me card with a discount code. The discount code's probably expired. I could probably show it to you. Uh, bag of Skittles, always fun. But that is Hatchbox uh, White PLA. Uh, fill a matrix Zenith PETG plus plus, just in case one plus wasn't enough. Okay, push plastics wood fill PLA. Let's see, it's a very kind of normal wood color there. Fiber Force antibacterial PLA. Well, that's that's good timing. This is box number 39. I wonder when it was sent. <laughs> so rather good timing. Maybe you can make one of those door door pusher things with it. <laughs> um, filaments CA, flame retardant, ABS. And it's a gray color. And then the easy box stuff. Let me see. Let me see if I can tell what date this is. Um, Okay, so this is from May. Wow, that's a lot of boxes down there, guys. Keen Village Plastics. And it's all PLA. This is the easy section of the box, so these are all easy to print PLAs. I uh, don't know if they come with printed solid discount code. You know, let me see. So I think they do this thing where you have to log into this website. Yeah. So you have to log into a website. I, you know, I never log into this thing. Um, I really should, but uh, by the time I open these boxes, it's it's like too late. <laughs> uh, so this is a cool red color. Let me see if they have a name for the red. Translucent red. Uh, very creative. Um, and then this is a cool purple color. It's called translucent purple. Um, it's a little bit more translucent than it may appear on screen. Um, then they have this color here. Now that's pretty cool. This is called Translucent Blue 703. I don't know what the 703 refers to. But like that pink earlier, this is a very, very, very light blue. It's very subtle, but I really like that. Oh, yes. Uh, so... I accidentally showed the password or something uh, on a stream once, and then I realized that the passwords never change. And then they said, yeah, we were just seeing if anybody would notice, and we didn't really, um, I guess it wasn't high on the priority list. So, um, and then this is translucent black sparkle. So it's, it's almost like a smoky color, which is interesting because I just bought, 
Uh, some protopasta. Translucent silver smoke. And I bought this silver smoke because when I create something uh, kind of like more on like the... Uh, it, it, something that needs to look a little bit more professional. I'll put like LED lights in something and I don't want like the white color from clear to be on the, uh, the it's usually an enclosure, but I don't want the white clear to be on a case. So I like the smoke because the case might be black and the smoke is also very dark. Uh, and I feel it just helps blend it better and it's not so uh, drastic, so to speak. Um, so uh, that protopasta might be the transition I need to the final box. I don't have, well, I have some idea of what's in here. This is a giant box. Uh, this, this box is from Joe, from P Protopasta. Uh, Protopasta sent Joe, who runs uh, Filament Colors XYZ. Uh, all their colors, and I think they told him, hey, send it on to Greybeard when you're done with it. So, I think this is protopasta samples um, from Joe. Uh, it could be that. It could be something else. I, I've had it for a while because, like I said, I've, I just moved houses in May. Uh, leading up to moving houses, I was very busy uh, preparing. And, okay, cool, look at this. That is a mess of samples. Okay, so it looks like Joe might have thrown a few extras in here. So, fluorescent green from Filament PM. Uh, PC Max White from Polymaker. I might have these other because these look like subscriptions I already subscribed to. Or maybe these were the ones I gave him. Well, either way. <laughs> Um, and it looks like a few other things have made it in here. All right, so a lot of filament PMs, a lot of snow labs, and here we go, some protopastas. So this is the iron filament from protopasta. Ooh. Some stickers from protopasta. Carbon Fiber Black, HTPLA. Carbon Fiber Light Gray. I know I don't have a light gray carbon fiber. Very cool. Burnt Orange Metallic Copper. Matte Fiber White, HTPLA. So that's very nice. Matte Fiber Yellow. I've been slowly buying all these protopastas I could find and um, what really sucks is the matte fiber is pretty pricey. <laughs> I have bought quite a bit of it, but it is pricey to buy. Um, glitter Flake Blue Wonder. So Protopass has been doing a lot of glitters recently in metallics, which is really cool. Red HTPLA. I'm running out of room here. Opaque Black HTPLA. It looks like a regular black. Opaque White. It's a very good white. It's very bright, and it doesn't seem to have any real color cast to it. Last year's holiday tree. Now that is interesting. I'm going to print this and see if I can smell that tree. Uh, so what they did is they they took a dead Christmas tree, I believe, ground it up into fine powder, and put it in filament. Uh, premium blue HDPLA. It's a very nice deep blue. Natural HTPLA. Glitter Flake Gold Dust. Now that is an extreme amount of glitter in there. I just don't know if the camera will see it. Now, oh, okay, I see what he did. I'm like, Joe, these don't feel open. He taped them up nice and tight. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Matte Fiber Red HTPLA. Double Espresso Metallic brown that doesn't show up well on camera it's uh it's a very cool metallic color of brown um 
I wonder, some of these, I don't know if they make for regular. That one does look regular. So some of their uh, subscription filaments, you can't ever get. They're just for the, subscri the uh, subscribers to their um, endless possibilities. So if you want something very unique, it could be a good way to go if you're looking for that kind of subscription box. Um, that was matte fiber orange, by the way. And this is matte fiber gray. Uh, so rest assured, there's going to be a lot of protopasta on my website soon. Matte fiber green, matte fiber black, matte fiber blue, and electric lemonade. Uh, then it looks like in here, there's a lot of samples from Snow Labs, Filament PM, um, and all that. But uh, they look like samples I've opened previously on, on Maker Boxes and or uh, were handed out at Earth last year. So, but these are very cool. Thank you very much, Protopasta. Um, let's see, hopefully I don't ruin this. Okay, thank you very much, Protopasta, for sending those along. Uh, those were provided for free. Uh, thank you, Joe, for forwarding it to me and, and paying that shipping. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for the extra filaments as well. Auto corrupt. Uh oh. Uh, full rolls and buy from Matter Hackers. Yeah. It's hard to find them. So the spool holder I use for samples, I use the. Uh, the T that uh, comes on top of most of the Prusas, and I also use this thing. This, let me see if I can get that up there. Uh, choo -choo -choo, wrong camera, camera two. Okay, so this thing is a spool holder. It says Prototype Asia on the side of it, prototype.asia. Um, that might be a URL, but I, th I think if you just search Thingiverse, it, it pops up. The only thing I wish, and if I reprint it this, uh, I would make it just a little bit taller uh, for the samples because some samples actually drag um, or flop over. But I use this one and I use the T that's on top of the uh, Prusa, which is essentially just a pole like that. So uh, it works out for me. It's not perfect. Uh, sometimes uh, it might get a little bit tangled, but uh, more or less it, it does work out for me. Uh, I don't mind a couple hit, uh, hiccups with it. I tried printing a special spool holder. I actually have it. <clears throat> so I've tried things like this. Uh, and I printed this one specifically for the, these uh, big rolls because I got these big rolls from Push Plastics. Push Plastics sent me their entire catalog as well in um, I think these are 200 or 250 rolls. Uh, I really, really appreciate what they sent me, but 250 uh, uh, gram rolls are very hard to deal with because they like to get tangled more so than these small samples. These small samples are so small, um, they don't really tangle up as much. So um, yeah, if you do buy samples, make sure you either get small samples or get a full roll uh, or something on a spool. Uh, Everyone, I, I do want to thank you all for coming out. Uh, I am going to start a second stream right after this where I'm going to unbox the Mitutoyo uh, digital calipers. Uh, I opened it just to verify it's real uh, because there's a lot of fakes of these out there. Um, and I hope I did the ver verification right, but I have not actually turned it on. I've actually not even opened the packaging uh, on the inside. So I'm going to unbox this next. Uh, and we're going to uh, see what that's all about. But I'm going to make a separate stream for that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, in about five minutes, the next stream will start.